You may see an ANOVA described as being a one-way, two-way, or repeated measures ANOVA. First, we need to distinguish between variables, factors, ways, and levels. You are already familiar with the idea of variables. Independent variables are the things that vary between groups of participants. Dependent variables are the outcome measures that we compare between groups. Factors are what statisticians call variables, and ways are the number of factors in your ANOVA. Levels are the number of values a factor can have. A one-way ANOVA analyzes one independent variable, and a two-way ANOVA analyzes two independent variables. Here's an example of a one-way and a two-way analysis of variance. On the left, we have the results table for a study that measured the average distance traveled each day by people who have three different kinds of wheelchairs. People who owned K1 wheelchairs, which are clunky, heavy wheelchairs that hospitals and grocery stores use, move an average of one and a half kilometers per day. People who owned K4 wheelchairs, which are lighter and more expensive, traveled an average of 2.3 kilometers per day. And people who owned K5 wheelchairs, which are ultra lightweight wheelchairs with rigid frames, traveled an average of 3.7 kilometers per day. In this study, there is one factor, which is type of wheelchair. And that factor has three levels. K1, K4, and K5. The researchers would use a one-way analysis of variance to compare the three factors. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, then the scientists know that there was at least one statistically significant difference, but they would still need to conduct post hoc analyses to figure out which groups were different. In this case, we would expect the K1 and K5 groups to be different, but it's unclear whether the difference between the K1 and K4 groups is statistically significant, or the difference between the K4 and K5 groups. On the right, we have the results table from a similar study. The difference is that subjects were divided based on the type of wheelchair they owned and the type of tires they had on their wheelchair. This study has two factors, type of wheelchair and type of tire, and the data would therefore be analyzed using a two-way ANOVA. The interpretation of the p-value remains the same, however. A p-value less than 0.05 means that at least one difference between the two groups is statistically significant, but scientists still need to perform a post hoc analysis to determine which groups are different. When a study uses a repeated measures ANOVA, you know that the study collected the same outcome measure for each participant at multiple times. For example, they may have measured subjects before the intervention, immediately after the intervention, and three months after the intervention. A repeated measures ANOVA is just a two-way ANOVA where time is a within-subjects factor with multiple levels.